Hi, this is Paul here with Tweak Town. Again, we are at Flash Memory Summit 2013. Right now, we're sitting down with Cameron Brett, the Director of Solutions Marketing with QLogic, and he's here to talk today about their latest and greatest. Tell us, what's, how's things going over at QLogic right now? Uh, I think it's going great at QLogic. Uh, thanks Excellent. for having me, Paul. Excellent. Uh, QLogic has uh, recently announced a product called FabricCache, and what that is, what does Fiber Channel have to do with Flash Memory? Uh, basically, it marries a PCIe flash card to a fiber channel card. So you're looking at using a PCIe flash card. Would that be a PCIe flash card that, that your company provides or can they use other cards from other manufacturers? Uh, we we do not make the flash card ourselves. Absolutely. We partner with somebody and we do offer it from uh, uh, from a certain partner today. But we are working with other uh, kind of top tier brand uh, companies who make the PCIe flash cards uh, to have, have more options. Absolutely. So we pair that up with the HBA, which is important. And then what happens from there? Uh, from there, the, the nature of Fiber Channel is a target initiator mode. And when you have multiple cards in different servers, uh, just like a regular SAN, uh, it creates a cache fabric. So all PCIe flash cards connected to these fabric cache cards all know about each other, they talk to each other, uh, and they can talk to each other's caches. So if you have something cached in server A, for instance, and server C were to need that cache, it would have access to that cache. Yes. So yes. that provides a great value because you can really accelerate multiple devices in crisscross. Yes, yes. It's a shared cache uh, so that any server that is connected to that cluster or that network uh, will have access to any, anybody else's cache. Uh, what that means is that it, it scales linearly with every server that you add and you add another card, your cache size is growing. Um, what that also means, in a cluster environment, when you have multiple servers running the same application, uh, you don't have to have multiple copies of the same cache, and you don't have the, the cache coherency issues that you do if the caches cannot be shared. So you're really utilizing every bit of flash acceleration that you have. Yeah. You, you're utilizing it in a distributed model to exactly. where you're really wringing out everything that you can get. You're definitely getting the most out of the, the cache, that, cache that you're buying, because ca uh, flash caches is not cheap. Absolutely, and putting that out over the network sometimes, you know, a big a big issue people run into is, you know, device contention across the storage fabric, you know, the, the network fabric. And this kind of helps with that, correct? Yeah. Yeah. On, on the, between like the server and the switches, uh, there's typically, on an 8 gig fiber channel uh, SAN, there's typically some excess or available uh, bandwidth. And so utilizing that with this kind of hidden cache network uh, is better utilization of the SAN. But because that's happening to where the sand can't actually see it. Exactly. Uh, the, one of the other nature uh, nature of the solution is that it's hidden behind the fiber channel fabric. So none of the, the servers, none of the operating systems, hypervisors, applications, they don't know about the, the flash and the caching going on. So it's transparent, it's hidden, uh, very simple to deploy, and it really can accelerate almost any application. Yes, and e ease of deployment is important, and then, of course, not disrupting the ecosystem that people already have. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like a pretty good solution. Yeah, very non-disruptive, and it uses the standard QLogic HBA device driver. So that's all the system sees, and everything just happens faster. Excellent. That's very good. Thanks for stopping by the booth. We appreciate your time. Thanks for having me, Paul. Yep. Thanks. Thanks.